Hi, my name is Tori Quizmundo, and I'm your instructor for your CIS 110 course. I teach a couple of CIS 110 courses, however, they're formatted the same, so it's no big deal um, if you're in CIS 110 section 0007 or if you're in CIS 110 section 1F01. Now, the biggest difference between those two classes is that section 7 does meet face-to-face -face on Tuesdays, and if you're in section 1F01, you're going to be completely online. Um, your class is also going to be an eight-week class, whereas section seven is going to be a 16-week class. However, regardless of the format of your class, you take the same class. So let's take a look at this class. I'm going to share with you some of the things that I would share with you if we were face-to-face -face today. Today is the first day of classes for fall 2020. So well, there is no one who's in, in a face-to-face -face class today for any of my classes. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I would tell you if we were face-to-face -face today. So first, let's just take a look at our course really quick in Blackboard. And regardless of what section you're in, um, you are taking the same course and you will have the same information loaded. All right, so let's check this out. If you um, take a look at your announcements, we're going to kind of make our way through the course itself just to take a quick peek. Um, it's going to take you through some announcements. Are you using Chrome is one of the first things it's going to ask. If you're not using Chrome, you're going to want to use Chrome because Chrome is important for you when you start to use your book. And by the way, your book is not uh, the traditional sense of a book. Can you get a hard copy book? Absolutely. When you go to purchase your book, you can. Um, but really what your book is is a code. You're paying for a code. So do not buy a used book. Make sure that you are purchasing a book from, from the bookstore or the publisher. And I'm going to get into that in just a minute. If you look on the next announcement down, it's going to share with you when your class starts, when your 10% is, and when your class ends. So it'll give you a good idea. It'll also tell you if you're going to meet face to face. So it'll give you that information there. The next Next announcement down is going to talk about help. How can you get help from FTCC? And depending on what you're having problems in, they can guide you there. There is a phone number there, which is super helpful because sometimes it's just nice to talk to somebody. All right. Let's take a look at the next button down, which is how this course works. This is pretty standard for all classes, so I'm not going to go through this specifically. Um, but this here is going to kind of guide you through some basic Blackboard orientation stuff, which you may or may not need. You know what? My class is going to look a slightly different from yours. Let me go into the student view here so that it looks a little bit smoother and doesn't have all of the um, all of the adjustment stuff in it. So, all right, the next button down is the syllabus button. So let's take a look at the syllabus button and let's take a quick look at our syllabus. Whether you're section seven or or one F O one, your syllabus is um, pretty much the same. So let's just take a look at the syllabus for just a minute. And let's identify some things that are kind of important on here and that are important for you to know. All right. Let this pull up. Okay. One of the things that you want to know is at the very top of your syllabus, it's going to tell you what class, what section, if it's online, when it starts, when it ends, all that information is up there for you. I would recommend that you take the syllabus, print it, or save an electronic copy. This is a college transfer class. Anytime you go to a new school, if they're not sure where to place that class, they may ask you if you have a syllabus. If you come back 10 years later, we might not have a syllabus. Um, from when you were taking the class. So um, you do want to always keep a copy of the syllabus that you have for your class. Um, it's going to have on here how to contact the instructor, which is me, the division department chair, and our dean, Tanette Prevett, who is a really, really super awesome dean. Um, however, don't go straight to her. If you have a question, please come to me first. Let me see if I can help you, and then we'll go to the department chair, and then we'll go to the dean. Even though our dean is super nice, let's not skip everyone just to get to her. There's also a course description on here and some course objectives. Then there is the required textbook. If you click on the link or select the link, it's going to take you over to the student bookstore. You do have to buy a book for this class. Um, there is no free book and there's no way to get around it because like I said before, your book is actually a code. So if I were to come in here under the school bookstore and look up under the textbook lookup, I can go ahead and choose fall 2020. And I can find the CIS courses. And the reality is, no matter what section you choose, basically, they're all going to have the same book for CIS 110. So I'm going to choose CIS 110. And then under that, it's going to list all these different instructors. But 
we all have the same master class. So if you think you're going to choose a different teacher and get a different course, you're actually not. Um, but we'll choose section seven. And here it's going to tell you your Cirrus book, if you're going to buy the hard copy book with it, which you do get a hard copy book, but I'm going to tell you most students don't use, is $144.50. If you're just buying the code, it's $109.25. However, I do want to mention to you, if you are a self-paced student, meaning you're paying cash and you're not using financial aid, under the Book and Resources button in your course, you can click and you can go into this link right here and buy it directly from the publisher and save about $50. So um, you want to make sure that you purchase that, however you purchase it, um, whatever funding you have, um, you do what's best for you. Okay? Other required materials and software, you will need to download Microsoft Office 2019 or 365 is actually what it is. We do give that to you for free. You can click onto that link and download that. Um, the biggest deal is when you look here, it gives you a set of instructions that when you are logging in, your login is not your student email. It's, it's your actual login for Active Directory, which is what you use to get into Blackboard with. And then it's at ad.baytechcc.edu. It's got an AD in there, and you've got to make sure you get that or it won't allow you access in. Once you get in there, you can download the software. What if you already have the software? Well, don't download it. It doesn't make sense to try to download something you already have. So, But you will have an assignment where you need to log in and prove that you can log in here. So um, you'll still have to log in, but do you have to download the software? No, not if you already have it. This here is gonna give you a breakdown of the course requirements. If you have already replied to your email, you have already earned one point out of 100 or 1% 1 of your overall grade for this semester. So way to go for that. Keep that, keep that up and we'll keep going down here. Makeup policy, once we hit the 90% date of the term, there is no late work that's accepted after that. So um, typically during the term, a lot of your assignments go through Cirrus. If you are late turning in a Cirrus assignment, I'll place a zero in the grade book. But guess what? Whenever you go back and complete that assignment, it will um, remove the zero and replace it with the grade that you earned. So that's no big deal. Um, also, it's going to have in here course grade appeals, department chair, Americans with Disability Act, if you need to have information about that, non-discrimination statement, FERPA, please don't have your parents call me. If you have a question, please contact me yourself, unless you are under the age of um, 18, and then we'll talk. Um, so, Syllabus and schedule changes. I could change it, but I doubt I'm going to change anything. It's pretty much written in stone. Technical skills, course interaction is there, but this is what I really want to make sure to mention to you. This class is not self-paced. Even if you're in the section 1501, you are not in a self-paced class. Um, you have flexibility to turn in assignments, but it is not self-paced. So, not completing any work for a period of time could mean that you're dropped from the course. More specifically, FTCC has a 14-day rule. So if you do not submit assignments, even in a flex class within 14 days, you will, you will get dropped from the class. Because if not, I get put on a report and I'm not answering for you. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're turning in work every 14 days. By the time you hit the 13th day, you will get on a report and then I will drop you at the end of the 14th day. So if you are having problems turning in work, you want to get with me as soon as possible because you will get dropped if you do not submit work um, every 14 days, all right? Even if you're in the flex class, okay? So that is not my rule, but I follow it, all right? So it's gonna give you additional information here. The very bottom it says personal information. If you have not updated your information at the registrar's office, please take the time to do that. If you need something or you're not submitting work and I try to contact you or try to send you an email and you're not responding and I try to send a phone call, you know, call you on the phone, um, if your information is inaccurate and I can't help you, then I drop you from the class, then you get upset and think, why didn't she even call? So if your number's not correct, I can't call you. Okay, so that's your syllabus. So make sure to take the time to check that out. Underneath of the syllabus is going to be the instructor information, and that is my information there. The fastest way to communicate with me is through email. You could also give me a call if you wanted to. However, we are not in our offices every day, especially with the COVID stuff that's going on. So you're, if you leave me a voicemail, it might sit there for a couple of days, and you're going to think that I'm ignoring you when actually I'm not. Um, so just send me an email if you need a quick response. Underneath of that, you're going to find your assignments button. And in that assignments button, it's going to tell you start here. This is where you'll start. However, if you are in 
101 your due date right here for this assignment is like um, 820 I think so make sure you pay attention to the due date that's down there which is your 10% and it's going to give you a listing of things that you should complete so uh, an introduction it gives you assignments that you have to complete for this module and then it has a due date guide in here this due date guide is going to guide you through the whole course so if you were to open this save this and open it or print it out for yourself it's going to be a very clear guide of everything that you have to complete um, the whole term now, if you were to look in your grade book, you would see that those dates line up in there too. So you have, if you're in the 16 week class, you're gonna see that some of these modules have been separated out. So they have two due dates in them. That's to make sure that you're not going past 14 days without submitting assignments. So you do have work that's due every week. And these due dates here will also marry up with what you guys have under your My Grades. Um, in your grade book. So if you were to look under your My Grades button, those due dates marry up with the due dates that are in here. And it should be very clear to you what it is. Look, I already went in and pretended to take my 10% quiz, right? So it should marry up with um, everything that you have with all the due dates listed in here as well. So you can see as we start to complete the class, um, you'll start to complete the assignments. It does look like there's a ton of assignments in here, but guess what? A lot of these only have maybe three, four, or five questions to them. So even though you're looking at this like, oh my goodness, this is a ton of assignments, it's not that bad because some of them are just really small. At the very bottom of this listing though, it has your weighted total, and that weighted total is gonna tell you what your overall score is um, for the course. So, all right, I'm going to go back to this assignments button where I was just a second ago and back to my start here. And I'm going to keep looking through here. It asked me to print out my due date and assignment guide. It asked me to review and print my syllabus, which guess what? We've already done. We've taken a look at that. It asked me to review the course. And then it's going to ask me to guess what? Log into Microsoft Office. Now, I'm going to tell you why we ask you to do this. Because when you get to your module with Microsoft Office Word, which is module two, you will have to prove that you have Microsoft Office on your computer. And we don't wanna wait until then to make sure that you can log into this site. So this assignment here is gonna ask you to log in to the Microsoft Office 365. And um, it's gonna ask you to do a screen clipping. I'm gonna be honest with you, it does not matter to me how um, you turn this in. It doesn't matter to me if you take a picture with your phone and turn it in, or if you do a screen clipping with Microsoft Office, there's a little video here to show you how to do a screen clipping. Um, but the biggest deal is, and if you want some more detailed information on how to do it, if you come over here and click on Microsoft Office 2019, it's gonna give you the link and some really detailed information and some steps on how to log in. So when you go to this link, it's gonna ask you to log in and you're gonna put in that Active Directory. Remember, it's gotta have that dot ad okay whenever you log in and in the top right it's going to say like install the install office right here you do not have to install office but i do need for you to do a screen clipping of this just to prove to me that you have logged into this site all right so i just need to know that you can log into it if you need office guess what here you go free 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 for you download it there's five installs you can put it in your child's um, you could put it in your parents computer you've got five installs of that okay so I'm gonna go back to the assignments go back to my orientation activity and I'm gonna look at what's left that I need to check out for today all right once you get done with that you're gonna click this link right here once you have taken a picture or done a screen clipping you're gonna click this link right here and that's where you're going to attach your work all right, so you click the link, which is the title, attach your work, and you're ready to go. All right, I'm going to exit the student preview and then go back because I want to share with you the next set of assignments, which I can't access if I'm logged in as a student because you need a login for it. And that would be your book. So if you have already purchased your book, you'll be ready to go. If you have not purchased your book, you're going to end up slowing down at some point in here because... Um, oh, I missed this, the 10% quiz. So I click on it real quick for you. 
On the 10% quiz, you can click to begin it. It's going to ask you questions basically from your course. This course does not have a book. All the content is free. That is false. You have to buy a book. You have to buy a code is what you're really purchasing, okay? And you answer all of these questions. Microsoft or Fable Tech gives you free copies of Microsoft Office. That is true. You get five free copies. So you come in here and you answer these questions. Students with a Mac computer should drop this class. Absolutely not. That's false. Um, when you go to complete your lab assignments with Microsoft Office, you're completing them in the virtual environment. And so you don't have to worry. Even if you have a tablet, you can complete this class for that portion. No big deal. All right. Whenever you're done with this, you'll save it and submit it. And you'll get your grade in the grade book for it. If you don't get 100 the first time, that's okay. Take it again. Come back and take it again. No big deal. All right. I got a 30. Well, I only answered three. Okay. All right. So let's go back and under the assignments and let's come back to our start here, orientation activity. Um, so there's a couple of assignments that we've already sort of looked at. All right. Um, we are reviewing the course. We've already looked at the screen clipping assignment. We know that we need to log in for that, but we do not have to download. You need to reply to an email for a grade. Some of you guys have already done that, earned your 1%. Way to go. You have to take this little 10% quiz, and then guess what? This comes from your book. You cannot complete this if you don't have a code. So you need the code. The first time you click on it, it is going to um, ask you for your code. Now, the set of instructions say watch the video or read the content. All right, so once you get over here and you've clicked on it, you can watch the video or look at the content. This is, a, this is an electronic book, an ebook. You can come through here and read through this. It's only two pages. It's going to give you some information on how to do some things. All right, once you've read through that, you're going to do a little quiz. You click on this icon here to take the quiz. I've already taken it, so it, it asked me if I'd like to reattempt. And you try to do the questions based off of what you just read. And if you're not sure about them, that's okay. Just try it. It's no big deal. Look, these are going to be the easiest assignments for you. Your theory modules are all going to be the same. They are all like this, which is module one, three, five, and seven are all theory modules. I'm going to say submit and finish. And guess what? It's going to give me resources. So if I did not get it right, it's going to say, oh man, that's wrong. Oh, I got both of them right. Well, that's interesting. Um, but it will tell you if it's wrong, it'll be red. And guess what? It's got the answer. I mean, it's got the answer. Go back and retake it, right? So no big deal on that. So these assignments here are going to be pretty easy. Um, first, you watch the video or read through the content. Then you click on the icon to take the quiz. Both of these assignments here, you must have your book, which is a code in order to complete these two assignments. All right, so if you do not have your book yet, you wanna make sure you get it. Then you've got to check yourself. Just double check yourself. Did you get everything done? Did you do everything that needed to be um, done? You know, and you can always go in and look at your grade center. It's organized really well and it's organized by date. So um, also the discussion boards are here. Um, listed under the discussion board button. If you guys are on task and you're writing full sentences and you got a couple of sentences in there, I'm cool with that. Um, I'm, I don't expect for you to do like massive research. Please don't spend hours on the discussion board. It is not worth all that. Under the books and resources button, that is where you will find your book um, from the publisher and it'll be linked through but typically students don't even come here because every time they do an assignment, the resources they need are already linked. So students don't typically come here, except here's where you can push, purchase the book from the publisher if you want to do that. So that is available to you if that's something that you would like to do. That is really if you're paying cash, the publisher will give you a discount. You can purchase it from their site. If you're using financial aid, you've got to go through the school bookstore. Okay. Oh, there is a code here. So if you're going to buy it through here, make sure you add the code in to get the savings. So double check yourself. Um, there is a journal button over here. Under the journal, you've got two, two little journals that you'll complete in this class. No big deal. There is a send email button. You can send email through Blackboard, but if you would like to see how I reply, um, you will have to go into your Gmail account, which is your student email account. 
All right. If you're having trouble with your book, there is a serious support button here. I cannot help you with your book, your code. I cannot help you with the code that you purchased. It goes through technical support with Cirrus. If you click on this link, it'll send you a little chat. You can chat with them. They are really quick. They are really quick. So if you're having problems with your book and you come to me and say, I'm having problems with my book. And I say, have you contacted tech support yet? And by the way, when you contact them, they keep all your information. So if you're telling me you're having problems and then I ask technical support and they're like, I've never heard from that student, then, you know, you're just not helping yourself. So you want to make sure that you go to this link if you're having problems, which is Cirrus support and Cirrus is your book. All right. So there's a couple of buttons under here. You guys won't see all of these um, because I'm in the instructor view right now. But this Microsoft Office 2019, that's where you're going to get your download if you need it and your set of instructions on how to do that. Remember, it's also in your syllabus. NetTutor is the online tutoring service. You guys shouldn't need that for this class. If you need help from me, you can send me an email. Also down here, um, Blackboard Collaborate, that's where we can meet online if we need to do that. We don't have any of those scheduled for this class, so um, no big deal with that. All right, guys, that's going to take you through most everything that you're going to need for the very start of class. The biggest deal is you have got to buy a book. You have to buy a book. And if your 10% in Section 1001 is in three days and you haven't bought the book yet, you need to get it like now so that you can go ahead and get started. If you have trouble with something, please let me know and, and let me know as soon as you're able to because um, the better communication we have, the better this will be. So um, I'm here for y'all. If you need me, all you got to do is send me an email. And um, if you are in Section 7, I will see you tomorrow. We meet on Tuesdays. So I can't wait to uh, get this class started. I'm here for you if you need me. Bye, guys.